Hey guys, uh, this is the Spyderco Polywog G10. Um, great knife, I, I love it. It actually belongs to a relative of mine. Um, and I, I do have a review out on it. It's now discontinued, uh, sadly. Although I kind of like that Spyderco does that because, you know, it kind of makes them more special, um, you know, when they rotate models uh, through. Um, so, uh, really awesome knife. And this belongs to one of my relatives, and he loves this knife. This is probably his favorite uh, everyday carry knife of all time. Um, easily. He, he loves it. Um, he loves the uniqueness, uh, the, the really deep clip, the, the uh, excellent steel. Um, he, he just loves it. And he was recently in China on a business trip. And so he was going through like all the markets, um, you know, haggling with all, with all the vendors there and, uh, and uh, negotiating with them. And it's curious, it's in uh, China, at some of those markets, Americans will go in there and be like, wow, you know, I got some off for 30% off what they were asking. And he kind of figured out that um, in reality, go in with 10% of what they're asking. And you can probably get out of there with like paying like 20 or 25%. So that's how much they mark stuff up. But anyway, so he was in China and he loves this knife and he found this and it's not super high quality it's just kind of a novelty um, he got it he, I think he got it for around eight eight dollars uh, US money and um, so it's kind of cool um, just kind of a miniature version of the polywog now this is a all stainless steel handle um, obviously the, the steel on here is not going to be really you know worth anything although yeah, it's it's pretty dull and it's, it wouldn't hold an edge anyway. Um, but it, it, you know, it's kind of cool to have just kind of a, a cheap knockoff of, of the actual knife. So I'll just give you a look at it here. Um, it's got some kind of etching or stamping or something in it there. And you know, I I've never seen this before. Um, I don't know. Maybe if you have, definitely weigh in in the comments. I, I think this is probably something that most people haven't seen. And definitely nobody's made a video on it, so. This will be a first. Which is kind of nice, because there, it seems like there's a lot of stuff on YouTube where there's like, you know, 12 different reviews of the same item, and they all kind of basically say the same thing, or very similar to the same thing. So it's nice to put something out there that's new and fresh. So it is is screw construction, so that's nice. Not something that I'd expect out of a you know a cheap kind of China China market knife. Um, one thing you'll notice that's kind of a, a key difference is on this one it's a bar, whereas on the actual knife it's a ball. So interesting difference there. Um, this is almost kind of a SOG looking clip, at least this portion of it there. Um, I like it. And you know what? The jimping on here is actually decent. It, I mean, it, it kind of works. For such a small knife, it actually feels pretty good in the hand. I mean, you know, it's a knockoff of this one, and I, I love this one, so it makes sense that this would feel, you know, decent. So, um, give you a little size comparison there between the two. Kind of a mini version, you know. I think if Spyderco actually made a uh, a real a real one in this size, I think it would actually be a decent knife. You know, if the, if they did the uh, the uh, wire pocket clip basically just like this, um, but just shrunk it down, I think I'd actually like it. Um, maybe even better is if well, I don't know about better, but if they just did almost like that, uh, like just solid. Uh, FRN kind of like on that new uh, translucent blue uh, Manix 2 um, and did like a full flat ground blade although I really like that that grind it just looks cool but you know something to make like just a nice little everyday carry knife just a little utility knife uh, I bet they could make it super lightweight and uh, you know that'd be a nice little knife I mean really you're cutting edges here not too far off I mean you know, for the size difference in the handles. 
So, um, just thought I'd show you that too. I like it. I think it's a cool little novelty, especially for eight bucks. You know, it's if you're a fan of the Polywog, it's a cool thing to have in your collection. So there you go, guys. Everyone have a nice day, and uh, thanks for watching.